Warren is saying that yeah. we should break up Google. She's I'm like, I love her, but she's very misguided. Like, that will not make it better. It'll make it worse, because now all these smaller companies who don't have the same resources that we do will be charged with preventing the next Trump situation. It's like a small company cannot do it. Pause. Okay, did you hear that? Did you hear that? I don't want to hear how guys like me are paranoid and shit. That's a higher up at Google. And their goal is to prevent Trump from getting a second term. And she's afraid that they're going to break up these tech companies because they won't have the juice. There'll be smaller companies that won't have the power to brainwash people on a mass basis. This is fucking fascinating. This is the big story to me, okay, about Google. I've been warning on this show forever. You keep hearing about the Dems going, what about the 2020 election? We have to worry about Russia and China and outside interference fucking up our elections. And I've been saying that's not the big, well, it's not an issue for the Dems. It's Google who, who regularly suppresses, we have empirical evidence, especially today since uh, O'Keefe from Project Veritas went undercover. This guy does God's work, by the way. Um, but I've been saying it's Google who controls all the information you see on the Internet and who hates people like me who lean right, who voted for Trump. And they regularly suppress people like regular, you know, right leaning people. So uh, they suppress them all over the place. And, and uh, <clears throat> this that's the big threat of 2020. They fucking hate Trump. They hate people who voted for him. And uh, that is the big threat, not China. Not uh, Russia spending $200,000 on Facebook ads. Uh, it's Google. So Project Veritas, Mr. O'Keefe, actually went undercover again and spoke to people who make the decisions, decide how the algorithms work and what they suppress. And he spoke to some people undercover at Google. And uh, this guy is, I mean, he's doing God's work, in my opinion. Uh. I'm going to find out what the hell happened here. He sure did. Uh, let's play the, uh, the the top graphic above. Put up the, the graphic of, of, of Google. The top graphic above shows a Google Trends comparison of searches for the phrases Hillary Clinton email and Donald Trump email over the last five years. The, the search interest for Hillary Clinton email was obviously significantly greater than for Trump, especially in June and July 2016 when there was news reports that some of Clinton's private emails were marked with a C for confidential. And in late October 2016, when James Comey informed Congress that the FBI had started looking into newly discovered emails related to Hillary Clinton, compared to the large search interest uh, for the term Hillary Clinton email over the last five years, according to Google Trends, there has been relatively little search interest for the term Donald Trump email. And yet when you do a Google search for the phrase Hillary Clinton email, you get only one autofill suggestion. Hillary Clinton email address contact. Then when you do a Google search for Donald Trump email, you get at least 10 autofill suggestions. The difference in autofill results between the two phrases, one for Clinton versus 10 for Trump, is completely inconsistent with the difference in search interest over time that overwhelmingly favors Clinton by a huge margin, okay? So they're playing a rigged game, Listen. okay? Your mother sucks fucking big fucking elephant dicks. You got that? But what most revealing is that when you use a different search engine for the phrase Hillary Clinton email like Yahoo, okay? Can you imagine Yahoo's actually considered the non-biased thing here, which is hilarious in itself. You get 10 autofills, and they're all related to Clinton email controversy that even has its own Wikipedia page. The implication is that Google is trying to limit easy access to links related to Hillary Clinton's email scandal slash investigation by providing only one autofill result that allows you to find contact information for Hillary at links like send Hillary a note, the office of Hillary Rodham Clinton, and contact us, Clinton Foundation. So according to Google's autofill search process, they make it easier to link to the Clinton Foundation website and make a donation than it is to access information about Hillary email scandal slash controversy. And if you don't believe it, here's evidence. This is Project Veritas uh, talking to some people that actually make these decisions at Google off the record. The reason why I decided to come to Project Veritas is because um, people need to know what's actually going on with Google. There's this facade about what they're doing, but what they're actually doing, what the employees are actually seeing inside the company is different. But the reason we launched our AI principles is because not putting that line in the sun. They were not saying, well, it's fair, not that cool. So we're like, well, 
we are a big company, we're going to say it. Pause. Pause. Did you hear that arrogance? We are a big company, so we're going to say it. She's coming right out and saying, we control all the information. This is, they don't want, this is why they're fighting being broken up. And Congress better get to the bottom of that. Of course, it'll be the Republicans. They have to break. This is tech tyranny is what they call it. They have to break it up. They're going to have more influence on this next election. I'll be surprised when I hear this shit. I'll be surprised because of the power of the Internet. Trump should win in a landslide because of the economy and everything else. But this is going to make it close. Don't think it's going to. Go ahead. Presidents do not agree with our definition of fairness. Pause. People who voted for the president does not agree with our, you know, our politics, basically, is what she... This is a woman who, she has her hands in this stuff. She's a real high up at Google. Go ahead. Objective piece. They're not an objective source of information. But then there are things... Uh, it's about ML fairness. ML fairness, the teams. Fairness. Like, yeah. You know, you need to be fair. We're also training our algorithms like if 2016 happened again, would we have... Would the output type could be different? They are a highly biased political machine um, that is bent on never letting somebody like Donald Trump come to power again. That's a guy who works at Google. certainly on top of now my old organization, Trust and Safety, is top of mind. They've been working on it since 2016 to make sure we're ready for 2020. This is a Goliath I'm but of David trying to say that the emperor has no clothes. He got called in front of Congress multiple times. They can pressure us, but we're not changing. Being a small little ant that can be crushed and I'm aware of that. But this is something That's that well is Chamberlain, by the way. something that needs to be said to the American public. What? Elizabeth Warren is saying that yeah. we should break up Google. I like I love her, but she is very misguided. Like that will not make it better, it'll make it worse. Because now all these smaller companies who don't have the same resources that we do will be charged with preventing the next Trump situation. It's like a small company could not do it. And it's like Pause. Okay, did you hear that? Did you hear that? I don't want to hear how guys like me are paranoid and shit. That's a higher up at Google. And their goal is to prevent Trump from getting a second term. And she's afraid that they're going to break up these tech companies because they won't have the juice. There'll be smaller companies that won't have the power to brainwash people on a mass basis. This is fucking fascinating. They love the rig. I'm telling you. All your information you get from the internet, fucking Google's going to control it. Never mind Russia. Go ahead, any more? Yeah, go ahead. Excuse me, Chili. Earlier this year, a Facebook insider exposed de-boosting of conservatives on Facebook. That insider inspired someone at Pinterest to come to Project Veritas with his story. Last week, we released a report from the Pinterest insider Eric Cochran detailing censorship of pro-life and this. Christian content. The tech companies can't fight us all. Today, we bring you a Google insider, a brave man who came forward and brought us a story that will scare you. Not if you're a sunlight is the best disinfectant, and people need to start asking questions. A couple weeks before the Google insider came forward, Project Veritas secretly recorded with Jen Janai, a Google executive, Janai talks about Fucking making devil. sure when people search for things through machine learning algorithms, Google's political agenda is always present. We all got screwed over in 2016. Again, it wasn't just right. else, it was like people got Pause, screwed over. you hook nose. Leave her up there. We all got screwed over. No, he got 60 million votes, you arrogant, pompous whore. You definitely didn't sleep your way to the top with that face. Somebody throw a bucket of water on her, she'll melt. The news media got screwed over. She's saying the news media was, what, pro-Trump? How fucking delusional. Everybody gets screwed over, so we, go ahead. Wrap the news media got screwed over, like, everybody got screwed over, so now we're rocking again, like, what happened there? How do we prevent it from happening again? Right after Donald Trump won the election in 2016, yes, the company did a complete 180 and uh, what they thought was important. Before they thought self-expression and giving everyone a voice was important, but uh, now they're like, hey, there's a lot of hate, and because of there's a lot of hate, misogyny, and racism, that's the reason why Donald Trump got elected. Pause. And so there, there, there it is again, the magic words, hate, misogyny. That doesn't come from the left. Antifa sucker, people getting beat up with Trump hats. That's not fucking hate. 
I mean, are you shitting me? The the arrogance. Go ahead. We need to uh, fix that and we need to start policing our users because we don't like to have an outcome uh, like that. We don't want to have an outcome like that to happen again. Yeah, let's, let's, let's talk a little about that. Um, so um, tell me more about what you observed at these meetings right after Trump was elected. Who said it? What was said exactly? So the, the things that changed was that the TJFs, they started talking about the need to combat hate and racism online and also <laughs> um, at YouTube. They had the same like talks by the CEO, Susan, um, and they, they, they talked about combating that and getting rid of unfairness. And so All right, slowly I can't take they started it. That's enough. That's enough. Um, your mother sucks cocks and hell, oh, Your mother sucks cocks and hell, and the way, it's women at the top that are making some of these calls. And, you know, you look at a, you look at a woman's kid wrong and it's hate. Uh, you disagree with the color of her shoes, it's hate. And uh, just, it, it's a rigged game, folks. God bless you, Trump, uh, if you can get through this. But there's the empirical evidence. James O'Keefe, again, doing God's work. Uh, so the shit that Trump has to go up against, it's not enough to mainstream media, but now, now you get the internet. Hey guys, don't forget to like me on uh, Facebook. My Facebook page is much easier than liking me in person. And go to nickdip.com. You get all my tour dates and uh, I don't know what else. I wish this whole fucking thing was over with the computers. All right? I'll see you at a club live.